Welcome to lesson four. In this lesson, we're going to be concentrating on reading minims. These are two beat notes, and then we're going to combine them with crotchets from the last lesson to read some mixed rhythms. So let's get straight into it. The first thing that you'll notice is how minims look different to crotchets when written down. Crotchets had a black note head, whereas minims the note head isn't coloured in. So minims last for two beats. So unlike crotchets, where we played on every beat of our group of four, with minims, we're only going to play on beats one and three. Okay, so if we clap that, it'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you look as well, you'll see that we're going to be using some E's and some B's. So we're going to be playing on the first and second strings. And again, we're going to be alternating our index and middle fingers. Let's have a go. Okay, make sure you're in a good position. Remember to alternate your index and middle fingers. And um, we're playing minim, so we're only playing on beats one and three. Let's try it to a pulse. Have a go at some of the exercises yourself. Let's have a look at an exercise that uses both crotchets and minims. So in this example, let's look at the first bar, the first group of four. We've got a crotchet on beat one, a crotchet on beat two, then a minim on beat three. So remember that the minim lasts for two beats so we don't have to play on beat four, we're just gonna let the sound ring over. So if we clap that rhythm, we've got one, two, three, four. An easy way to remember it is wherever there's a minim, you're not gonna play on the next beat. You're just gonna let the sound ring into that beat. So just let's clap that rhythm again in the first bar. One, two, three, four. We've got exactly the same rhythm, two crotchets in a minim, in the next two bars. In the final bar on the end of the first line, we've got two minims. So that means we're going to play on beats one and three. So we're not going to play on two and four. So one, two, three, four. Again, we're going to be changing between the E and B strings. Let's have a go at that. Make sure you're comfortable reading minims and crotchets and have tried all the exercises on pages 8 and 9 of your beginning guitar booklet before moving on to the next lesson.